Hi, good morning and welcome to the ZP vlog and podcast. So we like to do this vlog and podcast every um, Sunday at approximately 8am. We've gone a bit late today, but I'll just jump straight into it and say that one of the pieces of news that we put out this week, when we, at ZP we are active at this moment in developing um, point of need tests with clients for drugs of abuse. So we just want to put out there that we do have the Sense It All platform. Um, it is a, the fastest way to get to an MVP, a minimally viable product, between an idea and actually tangible um, hardware. And you can put it in the hands really of, let's say, real users. So, or not real users, but real end users. So um, we do do that. I think partly what's kind of um, pinged us to do this this week is, unfortunately, there always seems to be a new sort of drug of, or street drugs that are coming along at the moment. Um, and there seems to be one that's hitting the news at the moment called um, nitazines. So these nitazines, a quick look at the structure of these things, makes them very amenable to um, the Sensi All platform. Um, and so we want to kind of just highlight that we do have um, a lot of technologies, a lot of technologies for making minimally viable products. These can be actually used for either sort of detection of pharmaceutical drugs, you know, legal medications, let's say, but also, unfortunately, street drugs. And if nitazine is something that needs developing for, um, then ZP definitely has the technology stack to do that. Now, we were a little bit late going going live this morning, and that was actually because um, we were doing a webinar beforehand. It ended up being about 50 minutes long, but it's a classic that you know, every week, if we have a technical question in, um, we will address those technical questions. So we had a kind of questions in about, um, and we, quest we do it in our ZP Developer Zone webinar. So somebody wanted to know, um, I've got, they're trying to measure copper, they're trying to do it by anodic stripping voltammetry, they wanted to understand their data, so we were, we were able to kind of um, go in and answer their questions about that. Somebody else wanted a very kind of um, bespoke screen printed electrodes. So we were able to kind of indicate some design rules around that because unfortunately, you know, if you want to use platinum and gold these days in screen printed electrodes, it's become super expensive. And also if you want to make an economic piece, then you've got to keep it kind of fairly small. Um, some other questions that came in this week as well was also about measuring um, lactate and oxygen and sodium and potassium and glucose. Um, and we were discussing, look, you know, you can do this quite readily again on our um, Sense It All um, platform and get some, start really getting some real world data um, in on that as well. Um, some other uh, questions that came in this week as well was also regarding um, the continuous measurement of cortisol sensors in wearable formats. We did explain that you know, actually it's easier to do point of care testing. ZP at the moment is active in continuous cortisol me measurements. Um, we're doing it primarily, sounds ridiculous, but it's the truth in fish. Um, just because the company's partly in Norway, second biggest industry in Norway is, is actually about um, cortisol, sorry, is, is fish. And if you want to increase the stocks or the yield of um, fish in those um, applications, then measuring their health is a, is a good idea. Um, the other question that came in was around um, a bespoke electrode for uh, made of platinum for a microfluidics device, and it was kind of quite large. So we just had to discuss um, pros and cons of, um, of really doing that kind of um, application. Something else this week as well is we were quite busy with our food sense. So food sense is this, um, I would describe it as a technology for the digitization and traceability in part the food ingredients industry. And so we um, we did talk about that, but we're also having another webinar in 2024. So there is a kind of registration page has, has gone up and said, you know, if you're interested in attending a webinar on Food Sense in Jan 2024, um, you know, we've put the landing page up there. There's a couple of registrations and hopefully people will um, essentially sign up for that. Um, something that I'm kind of a bit passionate about is really reducing the gap between academic work and products, you know, so especially in the electrochemical assay space, there's a lot of work going on, but in not, not all of it translates over to, let's say real products, but we've got something called the Cape Potential Stat. The Cape Potential Stat is a really elegant, um, piece of hardware. That's a really a fully functioning Potential Stat that can you can develop upon it and then you can actually use it as your um, product if you actually wanted to take this to market or you wanted to give it to real people when ha and it have a lot more robustness than some of these sort of kludgy pieces of hardware that end up um, going out to people. So do take a look at the um, Kate Potential Stat, especially if you're like an academic and 
you really want to develop products that kind of kind of impact um let's say people um again i mean as part of our kind of support of our technology zp did do a live streaming webinar this week on sense it all sense it all is part of our sort of flagship technology and really about um converting electrochemical assays and electrochemical sensors into products really quickly so we did have a, a webinar on that and we are again in line with our food sense we are having live streaming webinars in jan 2024 so if you haven't seen it or you want to see the robustness of this technology then um, come to one of our webinars um, in 2024. Now, if you have technical questions with ZP, these technical questions can range from how does it detect copper in hard water, sorry, in water, how to measure testosterone in saliva, how to continuously measure um, cortisol, um, custom screen printed electrodes. If you've got any questions of ZP, we are going to do another webinar on the 21st of December. In fact, I've got a question in at the moment, which is how to measure zinc. So I will um, answer that on the 21st of December. Um, and then, as I say, as part of our kind of support of um, Food Sense, we did do some live streaming webinars this week. In those live streaming webinars, we were measuring a quite pungent chili paste, and we were also measuring some um, ginger shots. I think Food Sense is the only piece of technology out there that will actually allow you to measure Scoville heat units and ginger oil in parts per million, essentially off your smartphone, because there is an app on, this, on the app store, it's called Sense It All. Um, if you download that, then you can just scan what's called a QR code, and then you can change from assay to assay to assay by scanning different QR codes. There's a QR code for each particular um, assay. I won't say much more than that. I know I spoke rather fast this morning, um, but I would say finish with a comment that, look, if you've got any questions of ZP or you wanna make a comment to ZP, do reach out to us. Um, I think we're pretty good at least responding to all inquiries. Um, we cover them in webinars, we get back in emails, um, you know, so just, as I say, don't hesitate to reach out to us. Okay, thanks. If you've got any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to us at ZP. Okay, thanks very much.